It's July the 5th, and uh, I hope everybody had a happy 4th. Uh, mine was okay. Uh, it's been mighty busy, and uh, it has been hot. Um, obviously, the sun is almost down. Only making 26 watts, and uh, it's almost 90 degrees outside. But uh, I've been real busy, and I apologize that I'm uh, not real good at uh, getting back to everybody and answering questions and all that, but I try. And I think I'm just going to do some short videos. Uh, this one here, I'm getting ready to pull this battery bank out. And uh, the one above. The one below is uh, all AGMs. Um, don't have to do much with that. Just check terminals and things like that. But uh, I'm behind schedule. I'm pulling this one out. And uh, so I'm going to yank that thing out. And uh, whatever I find, uh, you guys will find it with me. And uh, we'll go through some of that. So this is going to kind of be about uh, taking care of your battery banks. Yeah, I hate to get behind on maintenance. And this thing's heavy. Uh, this box here pretty much weighs uh, just under a thousand pounds. And uh, we'll see what we can find. Now, at a glance, uh, everything looks pretty good. Um, you know, no wet batteries. Uh, they call it sweating or wetting. And. Um, Everything looks pretty clean. Now this battery bank here is uh, three and a half, four years old. But you know what I'm just noticing right there? You can see uh, that corrosion dropping off that terminal. That one's actually going to have to be removed and cleaned. And uh, and it can be done with the battery bank hot. Uh, you know, because this is a 24 volt battery bank. Uh, we've got six batteries there that are uh, wired at 12 volts and six that are wired there. Not the ideal way to do it and a huge cable hooking them together but um, I can take care of that no problem and uh, the biggest thing I want to make sure is that I still got electrolytes and I want to check the uh, condition of the charge uh, using the hydrometer now the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go one by one I'm going to look at the levels of the batteries and uh, believe it or not this is going to be one of the most shocking parts to you if you uh, do not maintain fully charged batteries um, they're not a uh, pure acid they'll uh, actually have water in it they'll evaporate very quickly and uh, when you go in your battery bank and see all of them looks like they don't have any water in it that will suck for you my friend that will suck now that I've con uh, confirmed that all my water levels are good or actually when they're fully charged it's pretty much acid levels and don't get discouraged here on this part. Uh, you gotta get rid of that air, and uh, eventually that disc will float up there if your battery bank's in good shape. And uh, you, uh, you pretty much want to keep these things floating, or uh, you know, they 12.6 sitting there doing nothing is a fully charged battery bank. Uh, that thing's gonna come up eventually. Trust me on that. And uh, there she goes. Gotta get rid of that air. And let me show you a low-tech method <clears throat> checking your battery. Put a couple drops of the acid right there on the top of the battery. It's going to stay beaded up like that. If it's water, it's going to spread out a little bit more. And if it's water, it's also going to evaporate. If it's acid, it's going to just stay there. And the problem with it staying there, it's going to start to rot your terminals out. Also, a cotton rag will not absorb acid just kind of spreads it around and it's just going to eat a big old hole in that cotton where paper towels suck it right up just a little tidbit for you so I did a uh, video um, about battery maintenance and um, like the full blown this is just a real quickie I've been uh, insanely busy lately and um, just uh, basically things you're looking for and this is uh, not an old battery bank, but you know, it's got some age on it, but uh, it really doesn't get used. Uh, it's basically just looking that everything's dry and looking for corrosion. And I've had uh, questions about this stuff. Uh, that's just a spray on uh, battery terminal conditioner. I believe it's made by CRC. I'm not real sure. But as you can see there, it failed there. So I'm going to pull that off, clean it, spray it, and take care of it. And, uh, Otherwise, I think my battery bank's in good shape. Um, man, I would hate to be one of those uh, people that's been out without power for the last uh, week and a half or whatever it's been. 
that would really suck and um, I usually stay on top of this stuff and um, but you know we're all human big comment questions I get batteries on concrete uh, I can tell you right now it's an absolute wives tale batteries love sitting on concrete just like your dog loves laying on concrete uh, batteries pretty much like the exact same temperature we do somewhere in the 70s on the other hand concrete hates batteries so I'm gonna try to get some videos out to you guys uh, you know some more informative stuff because I kind of find it impossible to answer some of the questions I get um, you also need to look around at my channel um, I get a lot of questions this most of this stuff you don't need a lot of this stuff uh, check out uh, the video series I did uh, building your own solar setup uh, where we did Mike's house basically you have hybrid grid tie inverter you know battery backup little sub panel charge controller a couple switches fuses and that's about it um, this is not a good example of what all you need this is uh this is just time uh, putting it all together and live and learn if I had to do all over again it looked a little more like Mike's system not like this so uh, that's about it for that now I don't spend a lot of time editing my videos and things like that I just kinda shoot what I'm thinking about talk about it uh, put them together and uh, throw it up on YouTube and um, once again I apologize for not getting back with everybody um, I have a hard time keeping up with YouTube period uh, the new format kinda sucks but um, feel free to suggest what you would like to know about I kinda think I you know I have a list of things that I want to talk about like charging uh, parameters of batteries um, how to do it uh, what's the most important um, <clears throat> I did one on inverters um, I think uh, something I get a lot is about charge controllers and uh, I think one of the biggest ones I get is solar panel voltages things like that um, I do need to order some uh, more solar panels I do want to upgrade this system and if I get a fresh solar panel then I might be able to uh, go through some of that because I do realize it's very confusing but anyway uh, your biggest money is in your battery banks because they have to be replaced every now and then so you got to take the best care of them and uh, and your solar panels uh, the rest of it is uh, stuff that will kind of last forever well I didn't mean to include solar panels in there take care of your battery banks happy fourth of July everybody did I mention it's hot it has been hot